What's going on guys? I'm gonna be heading out to Florida Supercon right now. It's about, well, 1 p.m. actually. And I'm gonna be heading there just shortly after 1.30 or so. And I can't wait to see you all there. So this is day one, Florida Supercon. I'm gonna be recording videos and taking photos on the daily and uh, updating you guys. I got my gear with me, uh, dressed up. I don't really have a costume. I typically don't really dress up for Florida Supercon. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to go and I will see you all there. What's up everybody? How you doing everyone? I'm here at Miami Beach. I'm already on my way to uh, the Miami Beach uh, Convention Center at Florida Supercon 2019. Uh, just a little bit of traffic right now. Um, this guy's not moving. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I'm already almost there. So um, hope to see you all there soon. Later. Finally managed to find some parking here in the garage. Uh, at least I don't have to park outside in the dreaded Miami Beach heat weather. But it's the Miami Beach Convention Center. There it is. You know, I never actually got the chance to actually appreciate the uh, architecture of this convention center. It's really gorgeous. It really does scream out Miami. It certainly is a beaut. And it's pretty hot with a nice fair amount of breeze. And it looks like we have a couple of folks here protesting about Jesus and the devil himself. Really weird. These crazy loony bins right here. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about that. But anyways, I'm on my way right now. All right, I'm already on my way to the entrance. Whenever you go to a place, specifically any beach around the world, here in Miami Beach, there's always that lingering Miami Beach fart smell. It's so quiet. This is what 4th of July weekend looks like. So quiet, you can hear me whispering. <laughs> On my way to pick up my badge, um, security personnel doesn't have any like ticket scanners or anything like that for the digital uh, purchase. So I have three days and uh, God, my head cannot fit in this frame. I get this close, it's like, ugh. Anyways, here the badge pickup line right here. And behind me is the entrance to the convention. So good news, at the last minute, I've decided to buy my VIP ticket pass. Oh yeah, I'm a VIP member now. That means tomorrow night, I will be coming to the cocktail party they're gonna be holding here on the second floor at 8 p.m. where I can actually interact with celebrity guests that are attending the event, and it's gonna be fun. Hopefully, I'll be able to talk to them and capture the footage on camera. But all I know is that I'm using the VIP pass to skip the lines and get everything in Express. So stay tuned. I'll update you more. Here where people are just dancing. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know what the occasion is, but this is cool. Stuff for him to sign. I actually am a fan of some of Nick Spencer stuff. Steve Orlando, Kyle Higgins. Might as well have a conversation. Oh. Supercon is really a place where you get to meet a lot of cool people, including your favorite comic book artists, writers, celebrities, voice actors, you name it. And Nick Spencer was one of the guys that I met there at Supercon 2019 who's been writing the current run of Spider-Man. And let me just say, it is awesome to meet people like him. You also come across a lot of artists who are really good at what they do. Like this right here. This is all a bunch of portraits in metal. And then you got people selling trinkets, watches. And then this little bug caught my eye. So I decided to take a picture of that. Really good stuff. And then we got a Batman right over here. Couldn't help it. I'm a sucker for figurines like this. And we've got a shot here, a shot in the con. Don't know why it looks a little yellow. And if you're a Godzilla fan, 
We've got plenty of those too, all different iterations. Need to sleep comfortable at night? Buy one of these plushies. And if you're a fan of the web slinger, look at these portraits of Spider-Man. Really cool. Oh yeah, badges. And again, more Spider-Man. You also meet really cool cosplayers here. So Supercon's definitely a place to go. See, people from all over the world and different parts of the state come here to show off their work, to talk to the fans and interact. And Comic-Con, or should I say Supercon, excuse me, is really a place for that. For people to gather around who are into the geek culture and just really enjoy themselves and have a good time. And here we got some swords. Some sweaters that you can buy. Trinkets, people in costumes. Happy Fourth! Happy Fourth! Happy Fourth! Costumes, comics. Here's my new pickup line, right? I own a lot of these comics right here, too. Mario's comics. Shorts. Everything's on here. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm about to go to the meeting room for a VIP right now. Really excited. I actually am a little lost. <laughs> so I'll be back in a moment. I finally found the co-check room. Uh, there was a checkout room. It's nice and quiet over here. Sorry for that close zoom up. And I found the lounge room where we can chill. There's nothing significant about the lounge room. Just, uh, oh, sorry, it's a little blurry. Nothing significant about the lounge room. Just to come in whenever I please if I'm feeling tired. And I just want to sit and have a cup of coffee or chill and pig out. So it's out back to the floor. <laughs> so anyways, I'm here with a few cosplayers. You want to say your names? Uh, hi, my name is Dash Maverick and I play Mario at Florida Super uh, oh. Cosplay Wrestling. No, sorry, Fantasy Super Cosplay Wrestling. All right. Let me start over, damn it. And you? <laughs> if you want to go ahead, it's yeah, a mulligan. Hi, my mulligan. name is Dash Maverick and I play Mario at Fantasy <laughs> Super Cosplay Wrestling. All right, you are? Hi, I'm Daylise. I'm one of the seamstresses for FFCW. Seamstress. Mm. <laughs> hi, I'm Doris, also known as Harley's Love Shack, and I'm also one of the other seamstresses for FFCW. Nice, nice. So tell me, uh... What's it like to cosplay, and how do you guys get you know make your costumes, and what's like the process of it? If you don't Blood mind me asking, cry. Tears. <laughs> yeah. Procrastination. Day of, start crying profusely. Yes. Boom, costume done. Nice. Suddenly see a TV show, and you're like, oh no, I gotta make this. But the convention's in two days. Oh. You do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any like pre prerequisites that are required into like cosplaying, like sewing, stitching, and stuff like that? Well, I was raised by a family of seamstresses. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Lucky. Lucky wow. you. I'm sorry, but so you already have the advantage. Yeah. Uh, what the hell? So I was raised by a dad who worked in a patterning factory. Yeah. And then my mom was one of the seamstresses for that factory. Yeah. And so I learned, Is that how they I learned met? from them. That's Legit, a cute yeah. Wow. That's what a very cute lore, um, a love romance story. It's like a better love so story than Twilight. So they both taught me how to do everything. <laughs> nice, and nice. And I kept going. I got my first sewing machine like four years ago. Yeah. I was using my mom's old sewing machine for a while. And then I just started making stuff and hoping for the best. Nice. <laughs> I hope this fits. Yeah. It's on. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, I went, I did a Maybe costume don't contest. Don't and like yeah. the whole time it was me praying that they don't notice things. I'm like, don't notice this. Don't notice this. <laughs> <laughs> I well, did win, though. The best <laughs> I've ever done is like, you know, purchase uh uh, 
like a Deadpool onesie oh, and like just yeah. patched everything else together by buying like third party knee pads yeah, and stuff like that you. and that's just putting it together. That's basically wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Really, yeah. I mean, but that's the best I've ever gotten as to cosplaying. Right. I didn't stitch anything. I just bought a onesie and then everything else to support it were just accessories. That's still considered cosplay. Because you're right. putting things yeah, together, putting the pieces right. together. Right, that's right. basically what I did with the Mario costume. It's just a red shirt, blue Boots. overalls, and mm -hmm. a Mario hat. All right, so you don't necessarily have to be an expert in sewing. Yeah, you don't have to. The that. hardest part was shaving this mustache and having to deal with it for five days. <laughs> that's the true. hardest part. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, All like right. a bunch of my old costumes are just outfits that are already yeah. made, and yeah. then you just fix them yourself. Yes, I nice, do. Nice, nice. I do now. Is this yeah. place going to be filling up soon? Because I see it's a little empty right now. It fills <laughs> up later on. Why you got to show us out, bro? I'm sorry, I didn't yeah. mean that. I'm it's sorry. It's Thursday. It's yeah, it's, it's America's <laughs> birthday right now. I see Mario. I'm cosplaying Pauline. Tomorrow. Oh, are you? Yeah, awesome. so I got you, bro. Excellent. Oh, All right, go. so I'm going to go ahead and take the camera and point it at me. Okay. No. So you don't need to be really an expert in uh, sewing and stitching. You heard it here, folks, first. You can just put down your yeah, pieces together, but you have the right advantage here. if you have uh, experience in yeah. sewing and everything else. That was the best have experience. Yeah. You just have to try. As you just got to try. try. Just Definitely. Try. Definitely. Try. Don't stop yourself, even if you make a mistake. Definitely. Keep going and Just uh, going. have faith and keep going. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Good You've Molly. been Don't great. Your arm. Really I'll see you guys around. Yes. One thing I do want to point out is that the food here is disgusting. <laughs> Never eat from here. I was guilty of buying the Danish. <laughs> and we meet friendly yeah, folks like here, <laughs> too. <laughs> so, yeah, just want to point that out. Yeah, see you guys in the next video right now. Hey guys, I don't know how close this is coming because uh, my camera doesn't have a flip up screen, but I'm going to be recording from my point of view right now where I'm hoeing. And this place is huge, it really extends all far back. And right now I'm by myself, but the weekend I'm going to have family actually coming with me, including my brother. So we're going to be recording that, definitely documenting a lot of stuff as much as we can. And I'm trying to actually pay attention where I'm going as I'm recording live right now. Oh boy, this place is packed to the brim with a lot of geeky stuff. And it sure is awesome. To see. It's just so much. It's non-stop. I'm actually near the cafeteria or lunchroom. But anyways, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a short break and then get back to you guys after this. You know, every so often a lot of things catch my eyes. Just like these plush dolls. I'm a sucker for them. I don't have it. And for those of you guys who are fans of waifus, look at this area. And some more horror art, including Joker, It, Chucky, and more. And I thought this was a nice shot. Take a picture of those Blu-ray racks. And we even have a character, Clouds, from the Final Fantasy series. That was cool. Good old Iron Man. I wanted to take a shot of that. That was awesome. And good Deadpool. Uh, you know, I only saw one person dress up as Deadpool. That was interesting. And then this one caught my eye too. Can you guess what it is that caught my eye? So we're back. And now we have an account. Yeah, we're going to record our way around. Yeah, a lot of people saying hi. Hey. Even Geico's at Supercon. I already have them. It's a great insurance company. That's how my cars are cheered. <laughs> Definitely get insurance. Really important part of life. Well, your adult life, that is. <laughs> and you see here we have a bunch of places, more creepy culture stuff. Why am I saying that? It's all over the place. <laughs> Ocarina. Oh, look. I actually have these right now. I have actually two in my collection. I'm thinking about adding another one right now. I actually buy from your website. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. I have three of your ocarinas. Awesome. Which ones do you have? Um, one of the legends, I have the plastic one right here. Okay. And I do have uh, the acrylic ceramic? one, the yeah, ceramic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I have the miniature, the mini, the mini oh, version. Yeah, of yep. I know. You got the whole set. Yeah, I need to add one more though. Okay. Which one were you looking for? Um, a 12 hole one. Okay, a 12 hole? Yeah. Any particular tuning, like lower or higher? Like, yeah, around lower, lower? To, but to achieve higher with the 12. Because okay. like there's certain songs that need to be played with those ocarinas. Okay. Right. Okay. The lower ones I've got here, I do have a baritone here. This is the labyrinth. Yeah. Ooh. I'm also recording. Sorry. Oh, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. Right. 
That's gonna give you a darker, a little bit more mellow sound. Lovely. You also have a full base here, which is plastic, so wow, you can drop it, it'll be totally fine. Yeah. So it's nice. exactly an octave lower than the ones you already have, most likely. Um, then we've got a variety over here, a bunch of new designs. This is new. Um, these two are new as well. Yeah, I saw this one on the website. Yeah, yeah. It's gorgeous. It's got a very clear kind of piercing sound. Very, very nice thing too. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I always love finding the Ocarina section at SuperCon and MegaCon. Yeah, yeah. I was just at MegaCon this year. Nice. I didn't go to Mega, but uh, Super, I, I usually like to go to Frozen Town. Yep. Megas are already, usually in Orlando. Yep. But anyways, check out the uh, Ocarinas here, guys. Go to the website. Um, I believe it's on... Where is it? I have a name on the website already. I think it's called SLT Ocarina or something. No, I'm sorry. I got it wrong. STL Ocarina. Definitely check them out. They have great stuff. wanted to show off this artwork that I actually picked up. It's a holographic 3D print of Goku in Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue and Ultra Instinct with Golden Frieza and um, Jin, um, I think his name is Jin. I can't remember. I'm already losing track with names. Check this out. Very nice, right? I'm here in the VIP lounge, so I get to relax here and I get interrupted by a lot of people, you know? kind of have this room to myself in a way. There are some other people around here, but you know, it's a place to chill if you want to eat, you know, collect your things, your gatherings, and just relax. <laughs> but anyways, I thought I'd just showed you in the middle of the showing, so stick around for more. Call the 911 team up here. <laughs> we shall take over the world. Alright, I'm on the second floor right now. Not a lot going on, but I was in the improv room that you just saw right now. So I'm making my way inside here. It looks like this is a once upon a manga core. So we only have five minutes, so we're gonna do speed run. Right, they only have five minutes, so I'm gonna go make my way out of that and continue on. Probably got people waiting behind me. I don't know. Anyways, let's see. Let's get on with the show. And we come to the best part: meeting your idols. I met Bob West, the voice actor with Barney, for the like the past 30 years, and it was an amazing experience. I even met Charles Martinet again for like the third time or so. And I think he remembered me, I'm not sure. But it's always a blast to see him. He's always happy and jittery. And again, more cosplayers. I took a picture with this guy like about three, four times. He just has a really cool costume. 
And it's from an actual and amazing Spider-Man comic where he wore the suit like only once throughout the entire series. So I thought, let me take a picture. And this guy was rocking the Mad Hatter costume from the Alice in Wonderland movie with Johnny Depp. And if you're a fan of Disney princes and princesses, uh, you will love that. And I spot the axe from God of War. Had to take a picture of those. And the many swords of The Legend of Zelda and other various video games are here in Master Sword. Also, different actors who've portrayed Batman over the years. Wes, Conroy, Kilmer, you name it. And dragons. I love dragons. So, caught my eye. This panel I bought from this guy. I love his artwork. It's that Goku drawing I showed from earlier. And we have more dragons over here as well. A lot of good stuff here. Well, that concludes day one of Supercon Florida 2019. Um, not a lot much going on, but I did manage to get a couple of shots with a few celebrities like Charles Martinet and Bob West, the voice actor of Barney, and Charles Martinet, the voice actor of Super Mario, uh, who's been doing the voice for about 30-something years now. And um, it was a pretty productive day. I had a great time, as always. I always love coming to these things. First time VIP pass holder. Yes, that's right, VIP pass holder. And I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I do go to work tomorrow, but after work directly, I will be coming here immediately um, to attend the VIP party. It starts at 8 p.m. tomorrow, so look out for that. I will be interacting with celebrities, celebrity guests, and uh, I'm pacing back and forth like an idiot in this hall where I was staying at in the VIP uh, room where we get to chill in the lounge. So anyways, guys, this was day one vlog of Supercon 2019. I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, I will catch you all in the next comic panel.